Pitch in. Volunteer. Your local rugby club needs you. How about pitching in with local club projects such as club makeovers, bar duty, grounds maintenance, club development, team transport, refereeing, event organisation and many other interesting activities. Over 39,000 volunteers in rugby. What's it all about? People giving up their time to coach or you know, do whatever we have to do, work in the clubhouse or be a groundsman or whatever it is. Rugby has a massive advantage over most other games in that it's the most inclusive team game that you can have. There's nowhere to hide, you've got to play. So it teaches kids a bit of teamwork and it teaches them a bit of uh, honour, I believe. I've been helping out behind the bar. Uh bit of training. I'm doing something to help the club and uh, that just makes me pleased because I'm putting something back into what they're giving me. It's fantastic actually, both the standard of play and the enthusiasm of the kids is really, really impressive and the organisation has been brilliant. There isn't a sport like it, the, the camaraderie both on and off the pitch is just incredible. It's the sheer companionship and friendship. It just gives you opportunities, that's what it is, and to create the opportunity so kids can play in such a great game, there's such teamwork ethics, that you, you do literally make friends for life. There was plenty of people at school that I always to a certain degree used to take for granted and I think it's only when you're a bit older, not necessarily now, when I was still at school, how uh, unselfish they were, they're, what they'd, they'd give up their time uh, and you'd also have teachers that they'd be doing the same when it wasn't actually paid time for them, they'd, they'd, they'd pick someone up and if they thought they had talent, well I'll take you there. The whole of rugby is dependent on volunteers, the very top level obviously is professional but you know, the whole grassroots of the game, the whole you know, lifeblood of the game is, is from people giving up their time. When the work needs to be done, like we've had two massive festivals here the last two years, last year we had 7,000 people here with the World Cup here and everything, and everybody mucked in, it was absolutely fantastic, you know, and, and it's a good fundraiser for the club. Making sure that when the children come they're registered, ticking off their names each week and getting the money and that, and um, just making sure, especially with the younger ones, that they're all alright and enjoying it fundraising, uh, days out, the boys have uh, lots of tours, casino evenings, um, balls we go to, um, there's lots going on all the time. Nottingham Solstice Sevens was started by a team of women to raise money for new shower facilities. It was quite a small tournament to begin with but we found we were attracting quite a few big Sevens teams. No prize money involved, however they love to come for the social atmosphere. We have entertainment Friday night, Saturday night, food all day. Everybody has got something to contribute and whether it's mums and dads bringing kids along or somebody marking the pitch or somebody collecting up the jerseys at the end of the game, there's always somebody to do that and it's a matter of identifying them and getting them involved. I came on board and got involved in a project team that was focused on getting lottery funding support for the club. And because I could apply skills I had from outside of rugby to the rugby area, I, I, I found myself keen to get involved, actively involved and actually achieving things for, for the club. So I think there's loads of different areas in rugby that you can actually help. Um, obviously coaching is, is, is a main one, um, but I think there's a lot of behind the scenes things, obviously fundraising, there's a massive amount of fundraising to try and help local clubs. Sometimes people turn up at a club and think, oh, it's got lots of people running it and it doesn't need, and it's, you know, you come to a club like this and think, oh, it's successful, it doesn't need anybody to volunteer, but nothing could be further from the truth. Well, as in any sport, if you don't, if you don't have volunteers, the, your ability to put on those sports is diminished. So without those volunteers, many clubs just wouldn't exist and children wouldn't have the opportunity to play. Actually, it's just a buzz really, teaching the kids and they know what they, they listen to you and you know, it's just really good, I really enjoy it.
satisfaction of doing something worthwhile, seeing the kids enjoy themselves and, and, the, and the, the smile on their faces and the, the enthusiasm they have. I mean, you, you live off that, the enthusiasm they have for what they do. There's so many plus points to it that it's a great thing to do and I'm sure people get a lot out of it themselves. I think rugby is, like I say, it's a family thing. It's a great place to meet people. If it wasn't the volunteers turning up week in, week out, there would be no club here. This club is just bricks and mortar without the people that run it. It's not meant to be corny when I say it's a family. You are part of a family. You'll be very well received, as much as the players, to be quite honest, because you can never, never have enough volunteers. You can never have enough help, and any help is gratefully received. So. No, I, I think do it, give it a try, I think you'll have a great time. We need volunteers to promote it more in the schools. Without volunteering, there's no game. The whole of rugby is dependent on volunteers. The volunteers can get so much from it. We need volunteers. Your local rugby club needs you. For information on volunteering, contact the RFU on 0870 143 2410 or log on to www.rfu.com to find your local club.